we are back with more Rise of the Ronin. We have still have work to do in this game. Our 100% run continues. Turns out there's a mission we might not be able to do. So I don't know how that's going to work with the percentage, if it even counts. We're at 92% right now. We have a bunch of side missions that have popped up. So we're going to go do... One of these, I guess. Don't really have a choice. Because we did everything else. Oh, Castlevania. Yeah, I heard they were adding that in the Dead by Daylight. I mean, they're getting everything. What a coincidence. That's cool, though. You can sign my Belmont. It's me, Jules. Let me fight this guy. Have you heard from Katsu? Ichiketa is intent on getting back at the Satsuma Choshu Alliance for what was done to Kondo. The fool is beyond listening to reason. In fact, he's even gone so far as to drive us all out from the outpost. Katsu mentioned something about Sato willing to help. However, it appears Lord Katamori has called him away. This is when Katsu is trying to prevent an all-out battle for Edo. Should the Shisengumi wait Alright. So some of these, like I said, I'm just gonna like kind of skim over. Because we have a lot of these still to do. We may have to stop them by force. But they always and they don't really pertain to the main said, thing right now. With your help, we might stop. Alright, let's go do this. What's left that Dead by Daylight can add? Basically, you and me, and maybe Megan Fox from Megan's body. Or Jennifer's body, sorry. <laughs> That's about it, right? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Landmark visited. We've already visited this place before. Why are they acting like it's our first time here? A treasure chest, too. Well, I don't need to be stealth because I ain't afraid of these. Oh, shoot! Whoa! Getting jumped here. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You're right. Nice, we leveled up too. Yeah, the side missions are really hard now this late in the game because this is the last batch. Dungeons and Dragons and Dead by Daylight, I know. They're gonna add everything, like freaking Garfield's gonna end up in that game. Help me out, teammate. What is he doing? Jules, kill him. Can't rely on him. I think I'm dying and he's just standing there watching. Come on, Jules. Alright. Well, you want to get the Hitsikata, you have to 
There's so another boss fight. I should have stocked up too before I did this mission. Shoot, I'm dead. Damn it. I realize my health was so low. There's no predator in that game? <laughs> oh, I'm sure they will. Surprised he's not actually there. And one weapon, now you can mix and match. There's no class system in that game. You think they're gonna improve it at all before it releases, like it's full release, hopefully? Maybe they tried to do too much with it. No goodies. Damn, I needed to go. I don't know how we're going to get through this boss fight. healing for this. Is there anything I can level up right now? Only four skill points. I'm level 52. Not really anything I can do though. Like everything's almost fully leveled up anyways. Like it's crazy. And I got my best armor on. There's not really much more I can do to improve my character honestly. Try this again. Got him. Shoot. Come on, Jules. Help me out here. Oh, my gosh. I shot him to death here. There we go. <laughs> Am 
my goodness. Candyman. Oh, Candyman would be cool. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't been in there. <laughs> Fatal Frame. Isaac Clark. Oh, from Dead Space. Yeah, cool. Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, there's, there's, a, I guess there's still a lot of things they could do. I want to see Terrifier more than anything, honestly. But Art the Clown, but. I don't know if they're gonna do that. I just want a Terrifier video game then if they're not gonna put him in there. I would love one if, if there was like a Terrifier game in that style, like done by the people that do Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Friday the 13th. That way it's more themed towards Terrifier and Terrifier only, as opposed to him just being a playable character in Dead by Daylight. I'd prefer that. Cause if there was a Terrifier game in that style, I'm buying it like day one. Because the Texas Chainsaw game's great. Friday the 13th was really fun. Like, with that love and care of, like, capturing that universe. Because that's what I like about those games, is they really capture those, those horror titles really well. Put you in that setting. Oh, shoot. And this is a side mission, guys, too. Isn't this crazy? It's still not, it's still going. Prick. You're a prick, too. Man, I can't heal. How many guys attacking me? There we go. Oh, you're lucky my stamina was down, dude. Shit. There we go. Like that. Wish Texas Chainsaw was more popular. Yeah. Me too. I mean, that's a, I, I do want to play more of that game, too. I mean, that was really fun last Zero Ween streaming that. Those were some of like my favorite streams, I think, during October last year. It was a lot of fun to play that game. It's not midnight. It's the zero hour. Damn straight. What's up, Pac-Man? <laughs> the zero hour. They could add Chun-Li. You just want Chun-Li and everything. Yo, 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 yo. Dude, that doesn't seem fair that he's got that, like, dead. Gosh. And this mission's tough. This is a side mission. It feels as long as a, as a main mission. And it's hard. Because there's, like... So many like enemies and like mini bosses and stuff. I'm gonna try to run through this. He's got a full auto gun and <laughs> I know. There we go. Dude, oh jeez, look at all this now. Gotta, like dance through here. Alright. There's our new plan. Go after the guys with the guns first. I think I do them backflips. So it's freaking. I think this is the Olympics. Never seen an enemy do that in this game. It's 
gonna casually open a chest while people are shooting me. Good a shop. This is exactly what we need. Are you gonna play the fear games? Oh, I would like to. Yeah, I used to own one of those ones. I don't have any right now. Yeah, those were those were cool though. I don't know what I'm gonna play during Zero Ween this year. I know there's some NES stuff we're gonna do. Probably do another run of Friday, uh, not Friday the Thirteenth, but Nightmare on Elm Street. We'll definitely do some NES. Probably some, you know, like multiplayer stuff like Dead by Daylight, Texas Chainsaw. Um, we may, as far as like campaign games go, like I'm still debating. I have a few like survival horrors. Like I got some Resident Evils. I could play like a Resident Evil I haven't played before or haven't finished, you know. Got some horror games on the Dreamcast. Looking for something? I got Nightmare Creatures 1 on the N64. Possibility. We'll see. Don't run. Take your time. No, but I, I actually... It's I'm glad you bring that up, Ken Ren, because I plan on buying that game for Zeroween, because I want to play that game. I grew up with that one. My brother and I would play that. It's going to be dreadful to play by myself, but um, it should be, still be fun. But yeah, we, hopefully we'll be playing that. If I don't have Zombies Ate My Neighbors in October, guys, somebody remind me. So I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta order a copy. I don't think it's like that expensive for a real copy of it. Super Nintendo version is the one I want. Because um, I actually, I look for that like all the time in game shops and nobody like ever has it. I think I found like a complete in box copy once and it was like surprisingly like only like 125 or something, which isn't too bad. I thought it'd be way more, but I still didn't, I didn't get it yet. I definitely got to get that for my Super Nintendo because that's one that we had as kids growing up. When I was younger, one of my older brothers had it. For the Super Nintendo, and I was like, this game's awesome. According to Google, this takes place in the mid-1860s, yes. The first full auto weapon was made in 1884. Don't tell them what they can and cannot do. <laughs> I don't know what they're using, actually. It's some kind of crazy shite in this game. Disassembling this so I can upgrade my uh, my armor. Shit. Is that all? Remake you heard was trash, though. Yeah, a lot of remakes are trash. That's the thing. That's why I always try to get the originals. I don't, I, I don't play a lot of remakes or remasters. I like having original copies. Like... Especially since that's the version I grew up with, that's the one I want to play. That game, along with like Sunset Riders, Turtles in Time, Mega Man Soccer, were some of the titles I played a lot of on Super Nintendo. The Star Wars games. Like I have other Super Nintendo stuff I need to stream too. I gotta do like runs of the Star Wars games on there. So much stuff. So much stuff we can stream, guys. So many good stuff, good games still. We'll have to do. Maybe we'll bring the SNES back into rotation before Zeroween. Or maybe I'll try to. Alright, what can we upgrade? Let's upgrade any of our armor. Our weapon. Just using it to upgrade. Now we can craft. Now we'll be fully stocked with everything we need. The game library will never stop. It won't either, and I'm gonna keep adding stuff too, as we all do, right? I wonder how 
anyone that's a gamer, like a, a gamer gamer, has a perpetual backlog. <laughs> it just it's just something you're never gonna catch up with unless you literally just stop buying games. But why would you, you know, if you're if you love games, like you know, like me or any of you guys, it's like. And I, I've always preached. I like having options too. Like it's it's so awesome to have games in my collection, knowing that oh I can't wait to go and play this game, knowing that I have that, it gives me something to look forward to. If there's nothing like new coming out that I'm like really like gonna put a lot of time into or really really excited for, if there's like a downtime, it's like well I can go back and play this game that I never played or something, you know. So it's like and it you know depends on what you're in the mood for as well. There's so many different types of games. So you have give me those options all day. UN Squadron SNES? No, I've never even heard of that one. UN Squadron. Never tried that one. The Rob Schneider emote. It's funny you see Rob Schneider. Uh, my girlfriend and I watched 50 First Dates earlier. I had never seen the movie, so... She wanted to watch it. It's pretty good. You hate it, you have so much to play. Yeah, well, you know slowly get through it but I you know like me I, I gotta stay disciplined on focus on like a certain amount of games before I start a whole bunch of other ones let me play some finish them or get as far as I can in them and then I bring in other ones like for instance you know, we finished Vigilante 8 tonight so we can that opens up more space for new stuff coming out and whatever else I feel like playing So I know I gotta finish this game before Star Wars comes out, and we'll still be working on like Hogwarts and stuff. Um, sea of Stars, I'm trying to wrap up this month too. Which I think I easily can. All right, so we are good now. We got fully stocked items. Airplane shooter, side scrolling. Oh, so it's like a, um, it's like a shmup. I love those type of games. I don't play enough of those. I'm actually should be getting Signi, which is a new age shmup this weekend, made by Konami. Looks awesome. It's a vertical one. Looks incredible. Hopefully it plays good. I'm gonna order a physical off of Amazon. Like Life Force was one of my favorite NES games. Which I've streamed that before. Oh man, this guy's super strong. What are we gonna do? We gotta get some power ups here. Like Ikaruga, I like Ikaruga a lot. Even though I suck at it. I really like that game. I think I tried the Earth Defense Force beat uh shoot him up on Super Nintendo once. Me right now. There's gonna be another boss after this, too. Come on, I need help. Why is my guy not helping me? Don't let him heal. Okay, we almost got him. There we go. Nice job, nice job. Whew, these guys are tough. Is that the end of the mission, maybe? Maybe that was the last guy. Talk to this guy. You're still playing Stellar Blade. That game's great. 
Good news is though, Dalton, that's not a super long game, like I said, so when you like really get back into it, it probably it'll probably be over before you know it. But there is some really hard boss fights late in that game. Boy are there ever. Uh I, I really struggled with some of those. But we got through it. Each has its own stats and weapon race, so there's different so it gives you like replayability to try a different character, I like that. It's called UN Squadron, huh? You know, I actually have... I'm, I'm not one to play emulation, but my brother had gotten me a Super Nintendo emulator to hook into my TV last year for Christmas. Which is pretty cool, and... I sometimes use it to, like, look at some Super Nintendo games um, that, you know, I might be interested in. Then I can go out and buy them, so that might be one I could actually try on there and see how it plays and if I you know if I enjoy it a lot eventually like you know try to buy it if it's not too expensive but even though I you know I have the emulator I don't really I don't like stream it through it or anything I don't use it like that often right now because again I prefer owning my games but it's a really it's gonna be such a cool and wonderful device to use to like try out things to see if I'm like curious about something if I really want to spend you know whatever money it is on the game so it's going to come in handy big time. Am I getting the casting of Frank Stone? Maybe eventually. Um, I don't know about right away. Cam is out of focus. Oh, thank you. Let's get that going. Gradius. Oh, yeah, the Gradius games. Peak Shmup. And they don't make a lot of shmups. It doesn't like it's not mainstream. It seems like there's been some other ones though. You know, like I said I really haven't played them a, like a lot of shmups. It's really something I want to stream more. And hopefully this weekend we will stream a, a new shmup. Casting a Frank Stone, that doesn't have a physical, right? That's just a digital game, I think. Mortal Kombat is a bad one. I'm glad you're enjoying the new one, man. The new Mortal Kombat. I have not. Don't know if I actually will be getting that one ever, but... Maybe someday down the line if it's really cheap. If I were to buy another fighting game... Right now, in terms of like what's been out... It'd probably be... Tekken 8, only because I tried the demo and I thought it was pretty fun. Or maybe Guilty Gear Strive. Try that one out. Alright, what is next here? So it won't let me go back and do this other mission. This one here for him. Because this character's dead. So like, I even went to the longhouse to try to do it and it won't let me do it. I'm like, I don't know how I do that mission then. That's ah, going to suck if that's going to stop us from getting 100%. Alright, we still have a ton of side missions left. My goodness. Some of them are Kyoto, so we have to like go back and forth here. This this has to be the last batch of side missions. Is 
Maybe I should go back to Kyoto now. That way I can do some of these lower level ones first. Let's go to the longhouse, which is right here. Do do do. You have a fine abode. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're making yourself at home. Smell the soul. This is a retry. Retry what? Edo Chapter 2 area? How do I move to another area? This collection rate of every area is 100%. The existing vendetta will disappear? Oh, that's fine. So if I go here, it's not going to erase my progress that I have here in, in Edo, right? I hope not. Let's try it. I just want to go see if those side missions will pop up over here. As we should do these first, since they're lower level, get the experience. Turn to previous visitors, and you can now complete unfinished business and explore the world at your leisure. You can return to your time by accessing the Testament of Soul. Okay, yeah. So we, this is the first time we've actually switched maps on our own. All right, uh, let's, let's see what we're working with here. We have a couple missions here. Yeah, this one I still can't do. Because he's freaking dead. If there's any way to get this mission to pop up, I don't know what it is. And look, Ryoma's back. Oh, he's here again. What the heck? How do I do the mission for him? Strengthen the bond. Like, I can't strengthen the bond with him? What's going on with you today? Because I can't interact with him. Maybe by strengthen the bond with his friends. I help. Will that help? Charm points. I don't know if that's gonna help. Let's charm him too. Do I look? You've done well. You need to go. Like, I don't know. I don't know how that mission pops up. How are you? I'm just gonna give gifts to everybody. What can I do for you? Alright. What does she like? She likes these milk chocolates. Here you go. Uh oh, she's falling for us now. Like, I don't know how to get this mission up. Anyways, let's do these ones that are here. These ones shouldn't be too bad. Because they're like, t like much lower level, so. Let's knock these out. 
Again, I don't know if these side missions like contribute to the overall percentage. I would think so, but if there's that one, if we're locked out of that one, maybe it won't count towards the hundred percent then. Uh, hello. There we go. Sticking out. Uh, no one's warm. I've already spoken with the Hodge. So last time. So you. Leave immediately. Let's go. As for our destination. <laughs> it seems ominous, but let's go. I will guide you. Take me there. This isn't my first time in Kyoto. What are you gonna do about it? Where do you think you're going? Walmart. Hello, my good man. We've some business to attend to over there. So if you don't mind. What? Not so fast. You want to pass. You gotta pay the troll toll. <laughs> I can have undesirables like you run and arrested in a flash. You know. Oh. Are you special? We have the company in order to show them some to be additional Sagumi. Let's lie to this punk. You're with the Shinsengumi? Yeah. So why didn't you say so sooner? Please go right ahead. Thank you. You took care of it. How troublesome. No blood was shed, surprisingly. That might be the first run in in this game where there wasn't bloodshed. Also, what happened to our horses? Not far now. Open our doors. What do you say? Feeling lucky? Hmm. <laughs> of course I did. I told him the shogun was going. Down. I don't want to gamble. Also, I'm paid, so rest easy. Let's go in. Do I actually have to play? Oh man. Well, if it's his money I'm gambling with, whatever. Down goes the cup. Folks, come, press your bets. I'm gonna say even. No odd, odd, odd. You've finished? Then betting is closed. The numbers are. Of course it's even. Even. Give me more cheating here. Three on odd. Then betting is closed. The numbers are six and six. Even. Of course it's even. Goodness me. 
I need to start betting on even. Oh, yeah, it's got to go odds now, right? Folks, come place your bets. Five on odd. You finished? Then betting is close. Three and one, even. Unbelievable. So I guess it's just gonna be even the whole Next. time. Folks, come. All right, you four finished? on even. Then betting is five and six odd. Of course, they're cheating. Yeah. What is this? All right, Next. I'm gonna go back to even. We've had enough. Oh, you've had enough. I haven't Folks, yet. Come. This is your BS. Bets. You finished? Then betting is five and one even. Finally, we won. <laughs> See, we're back up to 10. Next. <laughs> Folks, come. Press your Going five on odd. Shit. Even. <laughs> Alright, we're done. We're done. We gotta walk away while we still have some money. Next. Is it a rig in this thing? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I've had enough. We're gonna get attacked when we come out here. Well, well, if it isn't Lord Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the Shogun will set the cross to other score to settle with you. I expected as much. Can I count on your blade? You guys are like level 34, you don't stand a chance. What I say? Next. guys coming from like spawning on us down there all right all right all right this guy's kind of tough actually So you did talk to Takahashi. I told you so. Or did you doubt me? Never. That said, I fear I've dragged you into a nasty mess. You hail from Kurus, do you not? Ah, but that isn't your game. Had it been, you'd have done so at the military academy. I do apologize, and I thank you for coming along with me. Plus, we had ourselves some fun. Did we oh, not? yeah, fun. Well, till next time. <coughs> okay, well, that's done.
Or is it? Wait. It's not done. Well, well. I never feared I'd face that style again. <laughs> we have met before. Though admittedly, I didn't have a good look at you then. Tell me. How fares your master these days? Um, she's dead. I fear as much. In any event, with a close clan defeated, I must take matters into my own hands. Do not stand in my way again. Okay. Okay. Available missions. All right, here we go. So there's just like more and more side missions that just keep popping up. I'm like, I feel like I'm not making any progress with these right now. Like, what do I do? Can do that one. There's a bunch more bond missions that popped up here. And like this game is just like I don't know, just throwing so many side missions at the end here for no reason. Um like I thought we would be done by now. Just keeps they just keep popping up. Maybe like I don't know, maybe they don't even count towards the hundred percent. Let's see, we did a few here. Let's see if that brings the percentage up at all. I don't think so. That's still at ninety two. Seventy four hours in this game. Complete the following mission, the okay to end incident. Didn't I already finish that? We did. I completed that. Why is it saying I have to do that? You have to do it. Oh, probably for pro shogunate. That's why some of these are pro shogunate missions that I can't do. Maybe that's why his other man, his other mission isn't showing up. So some missions are pro shogunate only. That I don't think that you're you're able to do. Which shouldn't count against the hundred percent, anyways, because it'd be like a different playthrough. So there's a mission there, but there's also Yeah, this one. I don't think I can do this one. Yeah, somebody would be in here. If I chose the uh pro show gonna uh venture. We can do this one though. Just skim over this. You don't look like you've come for a fight. <laughs> no matter. Lord Katamori was just next. telling me what needs to be done so next. Yodo are. is in quite a state. I'm sure I need not tell you. The city is still licking its wounds, and the people suffer amidst widespread chaos. I want the Shinsengumi to begin patrolling the city. You must keep the peace and assuage the people's fears. Understood? Yes, sir. The Shinsengumi will prove, beyond a doubt, that the Shogunate's authority is alive and well in Kyoto. Good. You... You've got some skill. If we're no longer enemies, prove it by helping with our patrols. 
Okay. My stories. Toshi. Any complaints? I don't trust them. But I respect any decision you make. Then let's start our patrols early tomorrow morning. This is where we prove that Shinsengumi's true worth. We must live up to the task at all costs. to split into several teams and patrol the city. You'll come with me. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Lord Katamori has high hopes for the Shinsenku. Failure is not an option. Be on the lookout for lawless men. I hear that Steve and Ronin are going around swindling the people of Kyoto and causing all sorts of trouble. I thought we were splitting up. When public order is disturbed, public minds Look <laughs> at that lady running into it. What town foolery goes on here? Shred it down. This way. Imagine a vigilante group like this coming after. Oh, the Imperial City has fallen. Many Oh, it's the Shinsen Gumi. We feel so much safer with you patrolling our streets. Happy to serve. You know, when I hear. Get closer here. I want to talk. do we have on this part of the map is this it I think so so I guess we'll just finish up this part of the map that we have the rest are in Edo. I mean the ones that are here we really can't do the other ones that like are I want to get back to going through the main mission again soon because there's only a little bit of that left. We need reinforcements. We've got sumo wrestlers going on a rampage over there. <laughs> sumo wrestlers going on a rampage. Wrestlers, huh? Well, what can you do? Let's go. Can't have these sumo wrestlers going on a rampage. Finish there, there we go. That's enough for trolling for one day. I'll go report to Lord Katamori. <laughs> so 
How dangerous this place is like every corner there's like somebody being attacked. Uh, oh no. Welcome back. How was the first day of patrol? Ah, we rounded up some Ronin up to no good. <laughs> as well as some rowdy, drunken sumo wrestlers. Hmm. Sounds like you're already seeing results. I expect no less from the mighty Shinsengumi. There is one thing I found concerning. A gang. That fled the moment they saw us. They saw our faces and knew who we were. I wonder if they could be Serizawa's people. Serizawa. I've heard nasty rumors about that one. You might very well be right. Huh. Oh yeah, this this chapter is like it's all over the place. Like especially with all these like added side missions that I'm doing and everything like I have no idea it's crazy mm. is is a member of the so there's some missions I'm like not gonna be able to do but I'm not sure that they'll count towards 100 percent so we'll find I'm out this to you Kondo. you are the Shinsengumi's captain after all. I hope not its reputation is in your hands. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Hopefully, no other missions popped up. Maybe because we brought the pro shogunate up now, maybe that will pop in. Nope, it's still. Yeah, because this mission only pops up if I did the Akeda in incident on the pro shogunate side. Which I didn't, so that one won't come up, it looks like. Strength and bomb with EC, EC, Osami Kondo. It should be right here, right? So I want to try to like wrap up this, these missions here, and then we'll get back to the other map. For probably the next part. I'm just confused, man. They just threw so many things at me here. When I was literally like, I was done with the collection, I had like one side mission left, the one that's not even popping up, and then I just had like a few, I just, just on, I was literally about to begin the final chain of main missions, and then all of a sudden, boom, they throw you back into a previous map, having to re-get a lot of the Veiled Edge banners, and then like 50 side missions. That are like really hard. But again, this should be like the last batch of them. I want to go. Where is he? I find him. Gift you as much as Something I can wrong? to strengthen the bond. What do you like? Uh, this book. These. You can have four of these. You've got. And maybe talking to him will help. You have a fine blade, Kondo. <laughs> no you... Alright. Now, and he disappeared. Well, hey, get the train. Now the mission popped up. See, now I can do that one. See, this one I can't do, and then the other one I can't do because Tagasuki's dead, and it won't let me do it. And this one I need to strengthen bond as well. I just feel like like uh, every time I do a side mission, another one pops in right now. Like I'm not even kidding. Like like this one and this one. Like what the heck? Man, I'm just, I'm never gonna beat this thing. I 
I was like almost ready to say goodbye to this game and now it's like dragging me on. Really is. I'm just gonna skip all the dialogue here. To do how we can no longer leave. Okay. So this is like a follow up to the last mission. Look, this will be fluffy. Good. Rewarding and that's going to take Sarazawa. This way. I thought we were comrades, and so I let him go unpunished. But that man has gone too far. Meanwhile, they're struggling with these guys. Okay, so they are pretty hard. Oh, the final chapter is a lie, yeah. There's like so much, like. And I think the final couple of missions are probably gonna be really difficult. But also, they might be kind of long, I don't know. We might still have like five or six hours of main story left, for all I know. Side mission hopefully done. Kondo, this was the right thing to do, wasn't it, Toshi? You did what Arida must. It was only right for you to kill those who studied the Shinsengumi's name. There is no going back. Any samurai who disgraces our way of life. Will suffer the bloody consequences. 
How can there be justice otherwise? I don't care what changes sweep through our society. I am a samurai, and I shall protect what that entails. And thus, the Shinsengumi shall follow in the world we live in. You may have to exchange blows with your former comrades someday. Prepare yourself for when that time comes. Mm. <laughs> of course you have. You'll know what I was thinking. Okay. There are times you'll have to dispense with your emotions to stick true to the life you've chosen. All right. We've done it. Another cutscene. We've taken care of Kamo Serizawa and his followers, Lord Katamori. Hmm. Splendid. You have done what a good leader must, Kondo. I am pleased. Thank you for the gracious compliment, sir. The Shinzungumi will only grow more important in the days to come. I hope I can count on your continued dedication to serving your shogunate and country. Yes, sir. As you heard, the Shinsengumi will continue to uphold the true meaning of what it is to be samurai. But I am under no illusion that things will always be this way. I am an old-fashioned man. There will come a time when my way of thinking is obsolete. Should that time come, I hope you too will still wear the Shinsengumi name with pride. Even that would be of great comfort to me. <laughs> A useless train of thought. You are in no danger of becoming obsolete as long as I am around. Hmm. <laughs> You're a reliable one, Toshi. Please, just remember. I would gladly die for what I believe in, but I have no intention of taking either of you with me. I realize it's not my place to ask you this, but if anything were to happen to me... I'll be there for Toshi and Suji, yeah. I'll keep that in mind, I guess. Uh, thank you. You have lifted a weight off my shoulders. None of this would have been possible without you. I have no doubt that we will need your help in the future. Toshi and Soji are like little brothers to me. You are like a friend beyond compare. I know it may not be what you want to hear. But I am speaking my truth. I hope you'll help us again if we need you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so these, like, yeah, you know, a lot of these side missions now are just kind of like kind of closure with some of these characters, which is kind of cool. side mission wasn't there this one All right, is that the last one here or is there yet another one somewhere oh yeah there's two that we can't do this one and then the uh, of course the Shinsaku one so this is the only one that we can do left on this map really hope it's not Gonna stop us from getting 100%. Yo, what's up, Iowa? How you doing, man? Uh, we gotta go. Yeah, I guess we'll do this mission before we go tonight. I gotta go soon, guys. Try to get some sleep. Fairly soon. What a coincidence. What a coincidence, indeed. Wait, strength and bond with who? Yoshinobu uh, Tokugawa. So where is he? Shows that he's here. 
That's not him, is it? No. Oh. Or is it? You drink me up, I trust. You rounded up any fugitives? Yo, I've rounded up quite a few fugitives, actually. Interested in anything else? Can I get more of strength? Interested in anything else? Getting all the strength ones. Dude, now we can have some other upgrades here too. Interesting. Anything else? So many of these strength ones, it's so good. I need to get more of those. Best of luck out there. Helldivers update. What did they add in Helldivers? Was it like a big update or something? I still need to get on that game myself. I get the PlayStation online. About to play some college football. Nice. Yeah, man, I've been enjoying that game quite a bit. I've had so many crazy games already in my first season. Like, the computer's done some wild shit. And then, like, my team's probably played better overall than I expected in my first season. So, but it's been, it's been awesome. New enemies. Oh, new enemies. New difficulty and some other things. Just they added some, like, different enemies. It's you. That was good. Freshen it up some more. Ah, uh, hello there. Hello there. Over here. I'm listening. No, oh, you're not who I want to talk to. Very well. Then. Where Tell is me. this person? Them is who I need to find. Oh man, this this last chapter has me running everywhere, trying to figure things. Everything else was so straightforward up to this point. That's what I'm like, kind of annoyed at. Well, let's do this. Eleven strength points right there. Look at that. Four more skill points as well. That's going to be nice. So now we have strength. So now I can do max health. Damage dealt. So I'll do max health increase. Then we can do... We can just increase damage dealt. The lower your health is. That might be good too. Yeah, let's do that. Strength is now 99. We have two dexterity points. I guess we could... Use them for anything. I don't know. Varsity's hard. I think that's what I'm playing on is Varsity, I think. All American is just ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, it's EA Sports. We know the computer cheats in EA Sports games, so... You kind of have to like, deal with that while trying to deal with the difficulty, too. <laughs> Heisman? Oh my goodness. It's probably just like... They're, they're probably... Every team's like... Plays like a top-ranked team. Like, I've been playing, like, in-conference games, and they've been really difficult, much more difficult than the old NCAA Football 14, like, because I'm, I'm in the MAC conference, which is where Kent State is, and it's, you know, there's not great teams there, but I have, like, teams that were, like, 2-8 and eight beat me handedly in one game, and I'm like, how? Like, they were playing like they were Penn State, completing everything. So it's weird. I actually played Penn State too, but they did beat me. But we played like, we gave it a good shot against them. Like goodness me. But really, I'm a bad team in my first season and we're 
but six and five, so can't complain too much. If we can get into a bowl game and win that, that'd be incredible. Intellect. We'll do this one. There we go, that's 97 now. Alright, so... So who's freaking... Who do I have to... Gold string, what is it? What the heck is this? Oh, I can use these to upgrade them? I didn't even know I had that. That's like a whole part of the game I didn't even realize. That's cool. See this guy? Oh, shoot, where is he? Where is he? This guy. Where? Like, I need to find where this guy is. It says that he's like right here, but he's not. Playing Clemson in the playoffs right now. Oh yeah, there's like, so how do the college playoffs work, dude? Like, that's something I don't understand because I haven't followed college football for a while. So what's up with the, the playoff thing? Is it like playoffs for the uh, conference? So 12 teams instead of 4 for like the conference thing then. Over here. Uh, or for like a better it's you. BCS standing. 12 so teams in the conference gets an auto spot. Then they go by rankings. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I, I think I'll be a top 4 team in my conference. Maybe? I don't actually don't know. I better win my last game just to make sure I am. I have no idea how to unlock this mission because this guy's not even here. He says he's supposed to be right here, but he's not. I don't know if that mission even pops up. Guess we can always go back to that. There's really nothing else I can do on this map right now. Again, I don't think two of these missions are even going to pop up ever. I was hoping to get this one done. But I have no idea where Tokugawa is. No idea. Where is this guy? Hmm. Freaking no worries. They play 16 games in a season if you win it all. Oh, okay. So it's 12 games, and then you have a playoffs, playoff games, conference championship, and then obviously your bowl game. Oh, yeah, they changed up, like, divisions and stuff, too. So the Pac Big Ten has half of the Pac-12 now. Jeez. Crazier and crazier. So I'm hoping to get to... I should be able to get to a bowl game then. Regardless of what I do in the conference playoffs. But we'll, hopefully... I don't know. We'll see.
Those are part of the bowl games. Oh. So you see, it's all like different. Because when I played back in the 2014 one, it was just like you played your season, then you had like a conference championship, and then it was like a bowl game if you were eligible. And that's it. All right, well, I can't I can't wait to see what bowl I get into then and how that's all going to work for us. But good luck in your game right now against Clemson. Hopefully, pick up the bit. Hopefully, uh, you guys beat their ass. I don't even know. This is annoying because I don't know where this guy is. How am I supposed to strengthen the bottom of the character? I don't know where they are. Where did he go? What a coincidence. You won't the computer cheats. Oh they do. I'm glad to see we know. We know. They certainly do. You know, for me I found that there's there's gotta be something. Do they convert a lot of third and longs on your game? Or is it just me? Because I swear there's something in the code that lets the computer convert like a third and long a lot of the time. Because it doesn't matter what it is. Like, I lost the game because the computer converted a third and 18 to like keep the game going. And it was, it was the, the 2 and 8 team, I think, as well. I was like, what the hell? Like, easily, just like boom, wide open. Really beat the Rutgers, and your team is way better. Last second field goal. You know, field goals are in this game. Oh my gosh, yes. Dude, I'm struggling so bad with special teams. Because I'm like, the kicking is just like... It's hard for me to get the hang of. Like, I actually nailed a few pretty long field goals in a recent game. So I got, like, my confidence back with it. But I've, like, muffed so many punts. And I missed some, like... I think I missed an extra point one time, too. I was like, this is, it's just crazy. They tend to convert long touchdowns right before halftime for me. Oh, that's what they're doing to you. Yeah, like if they have like under a minute left. Yeah, they'll like, they'll do some. I've had, I've had them get long touchdowns against me too. I can't remember like where in the game it happened though. But they've done it. Like, they like return to kickoff. Like right after I scored or something. But like, and they get to my quarterback a lot too. Like I feel like I'm hit as I throw the ball so many times. So I'm gonna try to improve my offensive line for sure. Even though my running game is pretty good, so my offensive line like blocks for running, but when I drop back to pass, it's just like boom, they're on me all the time. Oh my gosh, damn. Wide open. They just blow right by your safety. Yeah, like I'm saying, like I've had so many plays where I'm like, there's nobody within 20 yards of them. I'm like, what's going on? Like, how are they blowing the coverage that bad? Especially if you're playing like man to man or zone, like. It's like, why is it, why is it doing that? They just, they, they, like, there's some drives where teams look like the Kansas City Chiefs against me. They're just, like, converting everything, you know, all these little, like, flip passes and stuff. I'm like, what, what, this is college, like, these are, like, bad teams that I'm playing. Like, I expected, when I played Tennessee and Penn State in their house, those were tough games, but they were more realistic because that's what I expected going in there. Like, they played the way I expected them to. It was really cool. It was like, it was hard. There was no way I was going to win, but I gave it a shot. But, like, when, like, small teams coming into my stadium beat me for, like, no reason. Welcome, welcome. From both my 
I don't know if I'm ever going to find this guy. Short slant. Oh yeah, I do the short slants a lot too. Because going deep, I don't feel too confident half the time. Because there's always like double coverage. I've converted some long plays, but it's it's like few and far between. You force two fumbles. Oh, you beat Ohio State in their stadium? Then that's a hell of a game. But you forced a couple fumbles. Yeah. I've done pretty good at forcing turnovers, I guess. I have some interceptions. We do have some fumbles, too. But I've also thrown like a healthy amount of interceptions. and I don't have too many fumbles. I think I have like two or three, maybe at most, all season that we lost. Um, and obviously some like three and outs and stuff, but... Green passes pay off for you. I haven't really done a lot of those. Maybe I should try some more of those. Computer does them a lot to me. I know that. Right, we're going to have to go back to the... Uh, there's nothing more I can do here. I'm going to go back to the freaking longhouse, I guess. You throw for 500 yards a game. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that'll help you out. I definitely don't. I'm more of a tempo kind of team like let me control possession let me defend well and try to take care of the football as much as I can I'm not looking to blow teams out of the water but I'll pick up the pace in offense when I'm at home sometimes but like a lot of the time like I'm pretty pretty good about dividing up between passing and running but I'll run the ball to control the clock. And plus, we, I'm pretty good at running the ball in the game. Our team's been good, so I tend to rely on that. What happened? Finally. You made me wait long enough. Is this back? You're running back at over 1,400 yards receiving? Damn, so we're using them, like play actions and stuff. The screen plays. Clock management is definitely key. Yeah, yeah. I've won games based off of clock management, really. Like, my, my very first game, full game I played in the game, was against Pittsburgh in their house in our first game of the season, and we won. Uh, 21 to 7 clock management great defense like it was like unexpected to win my first game against a good team in their house but we were we showed up and I held the ball a lot I, I didn't let them have too many opportunities took the crowd out of the game we're on this map now right yeah okay so we're back here because I mean this last chapter is like I almost just want to finish this freaking story mode and get it over with. Like, I don't like all these side missions that keep popping up right now. It's just, it's too much. It's way too much. I was fine throughout the game, but after this point now, it's just like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I feel overwhelmed in this game all, for the first time ever. Cause like I don't know, more and more are gonna pop up with more main missions now and then. There's ones that I can't even get to to pop up. I'm not sure. We'll do this one. Temple. No, I'm Kent State from Ohio. I've always been them in college football games for some reason. Me and my friends were always them. Kent State Golden Flash is supposed to be like an awful team in real life, so it kind of like it's more challenging to build them up. Like I think they went one and eleven last year in real life, so <laughs> I'm like six and five with them, so I'm already like doing way better than I should be. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, Navy or Army would be a cool uh, dynasty as well. Yeah. In any case, the 
there is something that I'd like to talk to you about. I've already picked out the place. Well, I'm just gonna skip through these dialogue things because at this point, don't care as much. And they threw me this many side missions at the end. Just let me get, him, get through them. Mind if I tell you a bit about my past while you walk? Guess I have no choice here. Years ago, I worked as a day laborer at Edo Castle. Oh really? Like Kent State actually had good players. Well, like <laughs> I had him into the employ of a generous Norman. Triple options a good time, yep. Those days are long gone. But I really had it good. There's a uh, some of that. I have like a, I have a pretty good receiver in my so team too. <laughs> I have some like I've had a national defensive player of the of the week too. So my defense has been pretty pretty good. Even there's games where we give up points just because you know computer BS that you can't right. defend or whatever. Kickoff returns or some stupid. But they had James Harrison, that's all you know of. <laughs> that's all they're good for. He remembers my attack on Lord Yeet. This is definitely going to be the last mission I'm doing tonight. Oh. I just feel like we're never going to finish this game now. I'm the villain. Who was it that murdered my lord? I'm just gonna say it was me because it was. I knew it. Now. now he wants avenge. Revenge, I mean. Bring it on. He pulled out a gun for a second, you see that? He like thought about it and he's like, eh. Yo. I got a gun too, buddy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get out of there, get out of there. Heal. I was close. What the heck? There we go. Nice finish. Take that, man. I know. You tried using the Ohio State playbook. Oh, and it was a lot different than what you're used to, yeah. Like a standard one. What's wrong, Beldage? I don't want to kill you. Wonderful. Not that it matters, seeing as I've lost. What are your true feelings about Lord E? The two of you may be on Okay, front. okay. Naturally, I will make no mention of what are you gonna do now about our little Good question? With Lord O E gone, I have no further ties to the show. You may open up a used bookstore. I may open up a used book, but I do hope we will <laughs> Good luck with your bookstore, man. Alright. Uh, okay. Are we did we actually make some... Progress in this mission board, it looks like, finally. Did another mission pill, like... Ugh. Something with Katsu popped up now. We have these, so there's only two that we can actually do right now. Besides the main mission.
This is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to get back going with the main missions, guys, soon. Next time we play this game, we may do one of these side missions and then go for the main mission just to push that along. As I said, maybe after we beat the game, we can come back in and do all these other ones. I don't know. Like the ones we can unlock to get to that 100%. That is probably going to do it tonight. I got to get to sleep soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll try to hop on tomorrow. I'm going to be home later from work tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night, but I'll definitely be on again this week. And then in the weekend, too. But, uh, you guys are amazing. Yeah, you too, Iowa, man. Thanks for coming. Always always good having you in here, dude. Good luck with the rest of your season, man. Well, as always, come in here and give me updates on anything you're, you're playing. Love it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to finish up my season maybe this weekend. We'll see. Have it done by the end of the weekend. First season. But yeah, thanks everybody for coming in too tonight. Thank you everybody for watching this and uh, Vigilante 8 too. Got a lot of people in here. Lurkers as well. I appreciate everybody. You guys take care of yourselves. Be safe. Enjoy your gaming. I'll see y'all soon. And until next time. Zero. Is the number. Cheers, y'all.